Hey everybody, good afternoon and welcome to another miniature unboxing. I'm David and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the WizKids 4D Homestead set from the 4D Settings Terrain series. Uh, so I've got all of these that I've really been enjoying opening them up and they all will work together uh, and that's a really nice thing. They're all 27 millimeter scale. And uh, in this pack of the homestead, you're gonna get four chickens, you're gonna get a chicken coop, you're gonna get a farmer's hut with a removable roof, you're gonna get a hitch post, a horse, a pig, a pile of chopped wood, a sack of grain that's opened, a sack of grain that's spilled, you're gonna get a trough, you're gonna get three waffle fences. Oh, that's cool, because these are the same waffle fences that were in the medieval farmer setting as well. So this would be a great set to go with that medieval. Plus you get more animals, you get chickens and stuff like that. So that's cool. Uh, you're gonna get a, the same waffle fence gate, which is cool. So now you have like eight pieces of fence section between the two sets. You're gonna get a well, and you're also gonna get a wheelbarrow, which is really cool. So there's no regurgitation in this set at all, except for the pieces of fence, which I'm, I'm totally okay with because you know you really can't do a whole lot with four pieces of fence. I mean, come on, let's let's be honest. So here we go. Here's everything in the homestead set, and I'm using my immersive maps book so I can kind of just uh, set these out and display them for you. Which uh, this is awesome. So the last set was they were pretty hard to get out of the the plastic and it looks like these are going to be pretty difficult as well so i apologize in van in advance for all of the crunching noise and if you can't handle that i'm sorry i don't know what to say to you <laughs> put your tinfoil hat back on <laughs> so uh here is the here's the large uh this is i guess this is the farmer's hut that has the removable roof so that's cool and it's even got you know it's a Two by, you know, two by two, so it's a 10 foot. That's pretty cool, this is actually nice. And you know, does it have a door that works? It does, look at that, and the door is taped. So, but the door is taped from the inside, but as you can see, the door does open up. So we'll, there you go. Ah, oh, that's actually really cool. I love the little details like that. So there you go, yeah, that's cool. And you can actually kind of, I would, I might even touch this up a little bit and put some a little bit lighter brown in there and I might wash this a little bit more to get rid of that shiny uh, shiny paint look but it looks good I'd probably definitely tan this roof up a little bit more you know it's got some nice deep groove so you can get a nice good dry brush on there and some staining yeah this this would be cool to touch up but I mean it's fine as is so but I do like the the removable roof we'll kind of put that there uh, here is the I'm guessing this is this is probably going to be the chicken coop right here. So it looks like yeah. So this looks like the chicken coop has a removable roof too. Yeah, there's all the the chicken chicken boxes where you collect your eggs. Yeah, so you can put the roof back on. It's got a good look to it. So yeah, that's a, that's actually really cool. Nice little detail instead of just being a solid. You know, structure with nothing else going with it. Uh, here's the well. Wow, I already, I really like this well right off the bat. I've actually painted a couple wells, but the wells that I had, you know, didn't have this, the winch system or anything. So I would definitely be using this well. And I also like that there's the, the water, kind of the water plastic plastic that represents water. Really cool. I like this. Nice well. Kind of put that over here. Uh, here's your. I'm guessing this is going to be the. This is going to be the trough here. So there's there's your trough and kind of set up. And everything, like I said, is you know it's it's all 27 millimeter scale. Let's uh, let's break out our horse. I mean, you can get some horses now and then in other mini sets, but this one's pretty plain. I'd probably, I'd probably touch this horse up. Probably give it a white mane or something like that. Uh, here's a pig. I don't think I have any pig miniatures yet. This will be the first one. 
So I'm sure there's some animal sets out there. I need to find them. But uh, there's the pig. A little, little bit uh, two, two one color. It does have a does have a pink snout. So that's cool. I'd probably lighten him up a little bit as well. Put maybe put some, maybe a couple of uh, like light brown spots on him. I think that would look good. It would kind of lighten him up. And the horse is two tone. Looks good. Put him uh, at the trough and put the little piggy over here. Oink oink. Here's our. Uh, I'm taking this is going to be the hitch post. So here we go. And like I said, sorry about all the crunching and stuff. Kind of unavoidable. Here's our uh, here's our wheelbarrow. Typical wheelbarrow looks good. We've also got uh, our pile of logs. It's nice that these things are coming out. Coming out. I'd probably lighten this up especially on the ends where the woods chopped i would really lightly uh, lightly dry brush that and then i'd probably go ahead and uh wash it a little bit more so we have our pile of logs we have our three pieces of fence and then we have our gate as well which you guys know what i'm saving for last i'm saving the best for last obviously saving the chickens so these, these fences, these waffle fences, these are the identical to the medieval farmer set. You can see there's some grass on, on each side. I like that. Uh, these are nice. I mean, we can build this up. They're, you know, they're 15 foot in length, uh, 27 millimeter scale, which uh, I do like that. All these are to scale. I mean, this is, this is really nice. And then that has the, the waffle fence here uh, to where, of course, you know, there's back in back in uh, medieval times days, there's no, uh, you know, hinges. So you've got these posts that will hold up the hold up the door so the animals can't get through. Put that in and then you got a 20 foot section, which this is nice. Uh, this will go with the like I said a couple times already. This is going to go with the medieval farmer set. And last but not least, here are our chickens and our sacks of grain so these are smaller pieces guys and gals i do recommend you putting these in a ziploc bag or a little miniature tupperware container or something like that so it's nice to see some chickens i don't have any chicken miniatures yet but uh, you get four of them and here's your uh, closed uh, sack of grain here's your spilled sack of grain and you can just kind of you know put those maybe put the maybe they're eating grain out of the trough i Put the put the you know the bale in there. You can set them on the ground, and then you can have your chickens kind of hanging around, hanging out around the coop. And your oh man, they could be pecking on the ground, and your your players, man, they'll say, "Oh look, cool, there's some chickens and stuff." So yeah, this is a nice little set. It was about uh, I think it was around thirty bucks or so off of Amazon. So definitely uh, pick this up. You know, if you're doing some outside stuff, I, I I definitely can't wait to use all these miniatures. I've been I've been hoarding minis for years, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, this is the homestead set, ladies and gentlemen, and I uh, think you guys will like it. Uh, I like the extra fence pieces. I love the chickens, and uh, yeah, it's a nice little set. And uh, this is by Wiz Kids. This is the 40 settings terrain sets, and this is the homestead. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, I'd like to join the discussion with you. And until next time, happy gaming and stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.